Hi, my name is Alain Legault. I am Vice President of IP Product for Hardent in Montreal. We do three things at Hardent. We do technical training, we do engineering design services, as well as we're designing into IP product. Basically, we're helping our customer designing into their next ASIC and FPGA projects. In consumer electronic, the display resolution of a graphic device has been increasing by a factor of 2x year over years. Hasn't been the case for transport technology like FIS and uh, cabling, where the speed has been more increasing by a factor of about 20% per year. So the gap that has been created need to be bridged. And there's really only two solutions to this problem. One would be to have more lanes in parallel or more cables to transport video. The other approach is to bring video compression visually lossless video compression. And this is really under this idea that Visa created this new standard called Display Stream Compression, also known as DSC. So the idea of this project that we've done is to combine transport like MIPDSI with the DSC technology to lower the bandwidth of the transfer of video. There are also additional benefits we can gain of doing this, such as saving of power, power consumption, saving of area, and also cost saving. So there are several benefits to use DSC with transport technologies. In looking at ways to solve this problem, basically the idea that we had was to integrate the hardened DSC encoder technology with the Cadence MIPI DSI IP technology. By integrating the two together, we can offer our mutual customer and then combine an integrated solution that will make their job much easier. It's going to lower their risk in their ASIC project as well as speeding up their schedule. We found working with the Cadence engineering team to be a great experience. We worked hands in hands. Team was fabulous and actually the hardened engineering and the Cadence engineering team integrated really nicely together. In order to leverage the integration of the DSI and DSC technology that we work together with Cadence, we put the two technology onto an FPGA prototype board. We can now take this FPGA prototype board and go and show it to customer. They can look at it, see the visual effect on the display and feel and touch it and see it's real. And that's very important. Now with this, we're gonna go with the Cadence business team and leverage every opportunity that we have, you know, amongst our customers and really help these customers in bringing up the, their ASIC and their next project. To really illustrate the benefit of uh, this solution, let's take an example. Let's take, for example, 4K video, 60 frames per second. Uncompressed 4K is 16 gigabit of data per second. This is a incredibly high throughput. By using the DSC, DSI combined technology, we can reduce this uh, transfer rate down to five gigabit per second. And that means that with uh, four lanes over MIPI DSI, we can transfer, you know, DSC compressed video and preserve entirely the video quality because it's virtually lossless. This is extremely compelling to customers. The initial traction we've seen for DSC DSI has been with the mobile and tablet market. The reason being that MIPI Alliance standard buddies were the first to standardize the use of DSC on a transport uh, technology. Recently, Visa introduced the support of DSC in their latest display port version 1.4. There's also USB Type-C coming, which supports DisplayPort technology. So we believe that uh, the event of USB Type-C with DisplayPort 1.4 is gonna create a need and traction for the DSC technology. So we, you should expect to see DSC to be integrated with DisplayPort IP in the future. Finally, Visa just uh, released the version 1.2 for DSC. Version 1.2, supports native compression in video in 420 and 422 format, which is the format used by the digital television industry. So you can see that we're heading 
also toward the DTV application with DSC, which will bring additional transport support. And that's really the future.